When I think about what Korea is for me, there are a few words in particular that come to mind. I think of, of K-Wave art and illustration and graphics and how strong those come across. It's very bold and exciting. Perfection. There's a certain strive for perfection that I have received from, from getting to know my friends from Korea. Korea is a city that is really ahead of time, even from the United States. Health, it can be food, it can be technology. Everything is ahead of what I already knew living in the United States. Annyeonghaseyo. My name is Kaisha Johnson. Respect that artists have for the art form and the tradition. The amount of time and dedication they take into perfecting century-old traditions. I'm Jeff Benjamin. I'm a journalist based in New York. I write a lot about K-pop. I do a column for Billboard called K-Town. Korea, more than ever, is making more noise than many other countries to be like a, a competitive country when it comes to the global music scene. The passion, you know, the emotional quality that is so deep rooted and the cultural and um, historic arts is so deep and rich. My name is Charles Armstrong. I'm a professor of Korean history at Columbia University. What's really striking about it is how fast uh, new things come along and how open people are to change, improvements, uh, new experiences, um, new ideas, new ways of doing things. I'm really drawn to the fact that Koreans are very respectful. And I think that's really beautiful uh, to remember one's ancestors and to give your parents a dignity and a respect that is very important, I think, for the family model. I 역동감. 생각할 시간. 문화도 마찬가지예요. 이 여유 없으면 크리에이티비티 생길 수 없어요. 사람들이 여유 있어야 문화를 살수 있다고 생각합니다. 저는 한국 DNA, 한국 문화 볼 때는 지속적인 그런 습관이나 길게 잘갈수 있는 멋있는 문화는 많은 매력이 느꼈어요.